All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to go ahead and get started with today's talk. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, we are excited. It's been a while since we did one of these talks. And especially since there's a very big football match going on. Um, thank you guys a lot for joining us tonight. I can see some familiar names here. So good evening, Mr. AJ, um, Auntie Florence, Date, Auntie Vida, um, Auntie Nancy is on, Frances, Auntie Frances, yes. Um, I know who that is. Auntie Stella, Mr. Emwani, Mr. Bautier, um, my teacher, Mr. Ahmed, Mr. Eko Afeni is on, um, Auntie Tina, Mr. Cyril Lamte. So thank you guys so much for joining. We're going to have a very good discussion on neck pain tonight. All right, so go ahead and share my screen. All right, so my name is Dr. Na Ashele. Um, for those of you who haven't met me yet, and I'm the CEO of Nova Wellness Center, and I am a chiropractor and wellness specialist. All right, so today we're talking about how to reduce neck pain, headaches, numbness, and tingling of the hands, okay? So that's what we're talking about today, and we're going to have a good discussion. Just a few housekeeping rules here. Please make sure you're muted throughout this presentation. We will have lots of time at the end to answer your questions. However, if you have a very pressing question or concern, please feel free to type it in the chat box. And then one of my team members, if they can, they will respond to that concern. When I finish the talk, whatever issue has not been addressed in the chat box, I will definitely do my best to answer. But if you can wait, um, then at the end of the presentation, I will call for questions. And at that point, you will just use the raise your hand feature on Zoom and I will unmute you, then you can speak. So um, for now, please make sure that you are muted. All right, sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So some statistics as we get started here. About 80% of the population experience some form of neck or back pain within the year. 80%. So that's a pretty huge number of people who are experiencing either neck or back pain. Now, some more facts here, just in case you've been told you have severe spinal degeneration in your neck and you may be considering surgery. These are a few facts on surgeries. Now, 25% of spinal surgeries have resulted in increased instability. So that means that once the surgical procedure is done in one joint, the joints either above or below become unstable. Now, spinal degeneration is, becomes even more common after surgery because of the biome biomechanical changes that happen after a surgery is done. So what do we do if we're experiencing neck pain? So today we're going to talk about three ways we can resolve neck pain. So the first way is to improve the neck posture by minimizing sitting disease and using proper ergonomics. If we're able to do that, we will help to reduce or resolve neck pain. The second thing is doing the right type of stretches that would also reduce neck pain. And then the last thing is cervical disc decompression, chiropractic care, and pulse therapy. 
These are all things or treatment protocols that we use here at Nova Wellness Center to reduce or resolve neck pain. Now we're gonna do a little bit of anatomy here. So we're going to go to Spinal Hygiene 101 class, okay? Now, the skull, so let me pull my best friend here. So the skull sits in here, and then we have the spine, and then we have the pelvic bone, okay? Now this whole bony structure forms your postural framework, okay? Now let's see who remembers a little bit of science or anatomy. So I want you to type in the chat box, what part of your body the skull protects? So if you know it, just go ahead and type it. What part of your body does the skull protect, okay? So now the extension of the brain sits right here at the bottom part of the skull, right here. And that extension of the brain stem is what we call the spinal cord. So the spinal cord comes straight from the brain stem and runs through the neck, through the mid back area, all the way to the waistline or the lower back. Now, the spinal cord is therefore protected by 24 vertebrae in three distinct regions. So we have the neck, the mid back, the neck is also called the cervical region. The mid back is called the thoracic region. And then the lower back is called the lumbar region. Now the, the spinal cord breaks up into tiny branches called nerves. And then the nerves send impulses to every single cell, tissue and organ of the body. Now this system, which I have just described is the master system of the body. Again, let's see who remembers. If you are a regular and you've listened to these talks, then you know what the master system of the body is. So I want you to go ahead and type it in the chat box. Tell us what is known as the master system of the body. Now, if you look at the blue portion of your screen, you can see that there are some nerves coming out from the neck spine. Okay, you may be able to enlarge the picture so that you can see clearly, but you realize that from the top of the neck, information from the top of the um, neck spine will send information to the scalp, the bones of the face, the brain, the middle ear. Then as it goes down, we, kept, we, we descend on the body. Once it gets to C6, 7 area, we're talking about the muscles of the neck, the shoulders, the um, bare side, the shoulders and elbows. So this tells us that if you have a problem with one of the nerves in your neck, these are the areas that can be affected. So for instance, if you have a problem around C6, some of the symptoms you can experience are neck pain, pain in the upper arm, tonsillitis, chronic cough, and so on and so forth. So it is very, very important that when we look at the spine, we're able to correlate the different parts of the spine to the different areas where you may be having symptoms. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because in recent times, I have noticed an increase in the number of patients coming to the clinic complaining of neck pain, and then the pain radiating, or what we call traveling into the arm. Now, most people do not realize that this radiation or the traveling of the pain is coming from the neck spine. So this is what is happening. The top bone here is a vertebrae. Then the red squishy thing here represents the disc. And then this also is another vertebrae. Now in between the two bones is also the nerve. So what happens when you go to the hospital and they tell you, you have cervical spondylosis or you have neck degeneration? 
It simply means that this bone is wearing out. It's pushed, putting pressure on the disc. The disc is therefore squeezing on the nerve. Sometimes you may be told that you have a disc protrusion in the neck. This is what a disc protrusion looks like. I hope you can see right there, there's a ball. So that's the disc protrusion. When the disc gets so dehydrated or degenerated, because there's a gel in there, that gel forms a ball, like that ball, and you can see how close it is to the nerve. So that bulge is pushing onto the nerve and not allowing the nerve to send information through the body freely. So if this thing I'm showing you here happens at C6, for instance, if we go back to the chat, you can see that at C6, we're talking about the neck muscles, the shoulders and tonsils. If it happens at C7, you can see we're talking about the thyroid gland, the bessa and shoulders and the elbows. So a lot of the symptoms that you experience in your arms actually may be due to problems in your neck. Okay, so we need to keep that in mind. Now, today we're only talking about the neck. Otherwise, if I went through the whole chat, you'd see how the mid-back spine correlates to your organs in the chest, um, in the upper abdominal area, and so on and so forth. Now, we're going to talk about cervical spondylosis because I don't think there's a day that goes by without me diagnosing cervical spondylosis in my office. So if you look at the first x-ray or the picture on the right, you see that there's a very nice C curve. We call this the lordotic curve. Now, this lordotic curve is there because it maintains the spinal cord in a nine C shape orientation. That is what we call normal. However, as the bone starts to degenerate, then the curve starts to reduce. So you see that the red line now get straighter in the second picture. Then when you look at the last picture, you realize that the red line is now reversed. So in the third view, we have what we call a reversed lordosis. Unfortunately, I see, I see that all the time. And it can be a very, very painful thing because now instead of the spinal cord sitting in this curve, is sitting the opposite way. So that reverse curve also will lead to a lot of numbness, tingling, dizziness, difficulty sleeping when um, it shows up in your neck. Now, if you've ever had neck pain or headaches, shoulder stiffness, you are not able to stay still, you constantly have to move, or if you are found slouching while working from your devices, then you may be wondering, could it be your posture, okay? So if you have any one of these things I just mentioned, then I need you to pay attention and listen, okay? So we're going into the solutions. Remember at the beginning, I told you we're gonna talk about three things. The first one was posture and ergonomics. If we're able to improve our neck posture, it's going to help us. So solution number one is improving neck posture. If you look at this lady who's working behind her laptop, she has really bad posture. Her neck is literally pushing into the computer. Because the computer is so low, she has to look down. So you can imagine, if you look closely, you can even see her neck muscles straining to be able to see what's happening on that laptop. So this, imagine doing this every day, Monday to Friday. For some of you, you work at home as well. So Monday to Sunday, 20, 30 years. By the time you are done and you come home, you can imagine the stress that your spine is gonna go through. 
Now, when you have poor posture patterns in your neck, these are some of the things that can happen. You can get neck pain, you can have headaches, jaw pain. Yes, jaw pain can come from neck misalignments. You can have back pain. Yes, indeed, hip pain can happen when your neck is out of place. Couple tunnel syndrome. For those of you who have been typing, because your ergonomics is so poor, your wrist is like this, your elbows are up in the air, and this is how you've been typing for years. So you start to develop wrist pain, especially along the middle part of, or the inner part of the um, wrist and arm. That is what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. Balance, you cannot stand still, can be from neck misalignments or degeneration. Respiratory problems, muscle tension, mood, depression. So somebody's thinking, how has my neck got to do with my mood? It's got everything to do with your mood. Simply because when your neck is out of place and you have this type of forward head posture, for instance, it affects how blood flow flows to your brain and vice versa. And so over time, if that is not checked, it can affect how your hormones also work and that can lead into the mood and depression, okay? All right. Now, forward head posture. Some of you may be using your phones to listen to me as we go through this talk right now. Now, it is very, very likely that you are looking down at your phone like this as you go through this talk. So we call this posture forward head posture. Now, if you look at the cartoon or the image on the far left, you realize that he has his phone straight ahead and that causes five kilogram weight of stress on the spine. Your head and brain typically weighs about five kilos, depending on how big your head is. So if you are holding the phone in front of you, little to no pressure. Once you start to bend or tilt your head forward or downwards, then you start to increase the amount of stress you're putting on your spine. Then the more you bend, the more weight. So when you're fully bent forward, i.e. your chin is literally touching the chest. It's as if you are carrying a 28 kilogram weight. So I always say you can use the 25 kilogram rice bag, you know, the huge ones. Either it has 25 kilogram or it has five of the five kilogram bags of rice. So imagine carrying more than that. And then you are on your phone all day long in that posture. I mean, who can literally carry that weight for more than an hour? So what we're doing when we bend into our phones or we bend into our laptops, in essence, it's as if you have put about 28 kilograms of weight on your head. So I think you all agree with me that is very unhealthy. So I want you to look around. If you are at home, you can check the posture of your family. See if um, anybody's ears is way in front of their shoulders, or maybe one shoulder is higher than the other, head is shift tilted one side, or maybe they're using their computer or phone, especially our children who probably know more about these gadgets more than we ourselves. Are they looking all the way down? Okay, check them out. If your kids are stuck in that posture all day long, then it's time to teach them, show them to look up or sit upright more so that they don't develop that forward head posture. 
Some researchers looked at university students and found out that 73% of them had that forward head posture like I just described. Now, 63% of adolescents, so a bit younger, this is 12 to 16, also had forward head posture. So this is a major issue because if these young ones don't correct these problems now, by the time they are our age or they start to work, you can imagine what types of problems they will be facing. So how do we change this? We call something in our office posture re-education. It is very, very important to undo what you may have done already. Just as your posture may have gotten bad because you are constantly slouched like this, in the same way, we can sit up our posture, we can be more upright, and that would help our muscles to reverse that poor posture. So you can see here on the left, the lady is all slouched forward. And then on the right, sitting upright more and using the phone. So the correct posture to use when you're on your phone is what we're seeing on the right. So now we're gonna go into some tips, okay? We're still on solution number one, where we're looking at improving your posture to resolve neck pain. So posture tip number one, we kind of talked about it a bit already. You want to bring that phone, you want to bring um, your smartphone, your tablet up to eye level. You also want to position your monitor so that you are not looking down. An easy way to do that is to use a simple laptop stand. Once you put a laptop stand under your laptop, you elevate it and that naturally forces you to sit upright as opposed to looking down. Another way you can um, use your desktop is to just adjust the nodule. There's usually something at the back of most desktop monitors which you can use to adjust how high or low the desktop is so that again you're sitting upright rather than slouched down you can also get what we call a sit stand capable desk so the picture at the bottom of your screen is somebody who is standing up and using their desk they can also adjust it bring the table down, sit down, and use the same desk. So a sit-stand capable desk can also help you to um, manage your posture whilst working behind your monitor. You also need to make sure that your screen is about an arm's length away from you. This will help you prevent too much rays from your monitor screen going into your eyes, okay? So once you place your computer, you just stretch your hands and see if it's about an arm's length away, then that should be safer for you to use. You want to have an active workspace. So active workspace, is not an expensive workspace. A simple exercise ball, for instance. Once you sit on, on an exercise ball, you have to hold your core because otherwise you will literally slip off because the surface of the ball is um, spherical, it's not even. So sitting on an exercise ball and working helps you to actually exercise your core. So if you're wanting to get some six pack, a flatter belly. This is a trick you can try. Sit on an exercise ball instead of your office chair whilst working. That way you are constantly moving. We talked about the sit stand capable desk, okay? That also helps. You can use the exercise ball. You can also use what we call a wobble disc. A wobble disc is a a type of um, equipment you can put in any chair, you sit on it and then you wobble. That also makes you move your lower back 
while sitting down to work. So all the things we've talked about here have got to do with your posture. That was solution number one. Now we're going on to exercises or stretches, things that you can do on your own very simply to exercise your neck. One of my favorite things to use to exercise is what we call a TheraBand. It's just a simple exercise band and it's elastic, so it stretches, okay? Now, after you have looked down all day long, you can do what we call a reverse posture exercise. So with that, you take your TheraBand, you put it at the back of your neck, and then you're going to simply hold it and then pull forward. Now, because it's a resistance band, as you pull forward, your head would naturally lean backwards. Going against that forward head posture you may have had all day. So you just stretch, hold it for a few seconds, relax. Stretch, hold it for a few seconds and relax, okay? This will help strengthen your neck muscles whilst bringing some motion into the joints of the neck. You can also do a simple ear to shoulder. So you put your hand on the opposite ear and just gently stretch. Ah, this feels so good. And then again, you hold it for a few seconds and then you hold the opposite ear again and then you stretch. Now, doing this will again help stretch the muscles on either side of the neck. You don't want to over pull your ear. It's just a very, very, very gentle tuck, okay? Now, you also want to do what I call a posture break. So with a posture break, again, it's like a reverse posture exercise because you're sitting behind your computer like this all day long, typing, rounded shoulders. So with the posture break, you go opposite. You can drop and then just lean your head back. And again, it feels really, really, really good to stretch that way. So that is what we call posture break. After you've sat behind your computer for 45 minutes to an hour, you can just take five minutes off, do your TheraBand exercise, do your simple neck stretches, or take a posture break. And that will really help to loosen up your neck as well. Now, maybe you're saying, hey, I don't have um, a TheraBand. What do I do? You can still do what we call neck retractions. So with that, you take two fingers, place it on your chin, pull your head back whilst keeping your shoulders still and even, and then hold it there for a few seconds, okay? So it does a similar thing. Hold it for a few seconds, relax, repeat, relax, repeat, okay? All right. So that's a picture of the posture break right there. Um, like I just described, head back, shoulders out, and just hold it for a few seconds. It may be a bit uncomfortable because your muscles are not used to it. Your muscles are used to this posture. So once you try to go the opposite way or away from what your body knows, sometimes it can be a bit uncomfortable. But if you keep doing the exercise, it's just a matter of time and um, you would get used to it, okay? All right. Most of us have smartphones, smartwatches, laptops, tablets, and these, because of how bad certain disease um, has become, all these gadgets have embedded in them a reminder if they realize that you are, you've been seated for too long, for instance, it will beep. 
on some watches, it even tells you what to do. It shows you some exercises that you can do. So please, when the phone beeps or when your watch beeps, don't ignore it. Honestly, go ahead and get up, especially if your work or whatever you do entails a lot of sitting. Please don't ignore that prompt. Get up and move around. Because I have seen people who have told me, you know, throughout my career, all I did was to sit, 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 sit. And today, some of them, their spines are so bad, they need surgery. So you ask yourself, what caused it? And we'll be talking about the causes of these issues. But my point is, if you do the right things now, you will prevent that severe degeneration from happening so that you don't have to have surgery. So please take these very, very simple um, tips uh, to heart and try and implement them throughout the day. You can put a sticker on your um, office desk or by a wall and the sticker will just say, check your posture, get up and move or something that will remind you that after every 45 minutes or so, you should get up and move around. So the last bit, remember we're talking about three tips. So the first one we talked about was posture. We talked about how to maintain an upright posture and also avoiding the forward head posture. Then the second thing we talked about was stretches and things that we can do to keep our spines or our bodies moving whilst we work. Now, the third thing we can do to treat our neck pain or the numbness in our hands, the dizziness, the headaches, the third thing we can do is what we call either chiropractic care, cervical decompression, pulse wave, or massage therapy, okay? So now, thanks to technology, um, here at Dover Wellness Center, in addition to the traditional chiropractic care and massage therapy, we also have DRX 9000 non-surgical decompression. So with that, we're able to use this machine to open up the neck so that we reduce pressure on the nerves. We also have what we call a pulse wave machine which also helps to reduce pain around the neck, especially if you're having the numbness, the tingling in the arms. We run the pulse wave machine throughout that arm or throughout the, um, the extremity, whether it's your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, and it helps to heal the nerves that run through that arm to reduce the numbness, the tingling for you. Then massage therapy. Sometimes it's just muscle spasms, really, really tight muscles that cause so much pain and discomfort. So if that is the case, then deep tissue massage, hot stone massage, um, Swedish massage will help to loosen the spasms and also relieve pain. Then of course, the good old chiropractic adjustments. Sometimes it is because your bones are misaligned. You sat so poorly, you have misalignments in the bones in the neck. So they are not able to protect the nerves. They are rather putting a lot of pressure on that nerve. Nerve is not able to send impulses into the arm. That is what causes the neck pain, the headache, the arm pain. So we're able to use our chiropractic adjustments, a very gentle realignment of that neck bone will reduce the pressure on the nerve so that information flow is restored, okay? All right. So this is a picture of me on the DRX 9000 cervical decompression machine, okay? So you can see that my neck is hooked to the machine and it's a very, very gentle distraction, okay? So not that I have neck pain or I have numbness or tingling, 
I wanted to experience it so that I know what my patients are going through. Um, so it feels literally like a pull and then contract, pull and then contract. So for those of you who may have been diagnosed of disc problems in the neck, this is an excellent, very, very effective way to treat it. We just started using the neck decompression machine and we find that it's even more effective than the lower back or the lumbar disc decompression. The lumbar disc decompression has a success rate of about 80%, but the neck decompression has a success rate of about 90%. For people who have headaches, numbness in the face, um, twitching in the face, numbness, tingling of the hands, using the cervical disc decompression has proven to be very, very effective. So somebody may be wondering what causes these problems? I've mentioned the forward head posture. So we call it the technology terror. All of us are on our phones, on our tablets, on our gadgets. So that is the main cause of this neck problem with the numbness or the radiation going into the arm. How we carry our purses, and this is not only for women, children and their school bags, their backpacks, Men, men have sometimes two, three laptops and one laptop bag. So yes, and then they put it on one side um, or on one shoulder, and that can also cause a lot of problems. Improper lifting. So a lot of us may just bend quickly at the waist to lift, and then you feel a pain. That can also lead to some of these problems. Trauma, physical trauma. Every other day, I get somebody who comes into the clinic. And when we go through the history, you realize that there may have been some accident. It may have happened a long time ago, 20 years ago. As you get older, you may start to, to, to get the effect of that accident. It may have been a fall. Sometimes you don't even remember. But as we go through the history, you are able to to pinpoint exactly what happened some years back or sometimes recently, which could have put your spine in um, a wrong position or a spinal bone is misaligned and that also causes pain. So here at Nova Wellness Center, we've been using all natural care or conservative care to treat this neck pain headaches, um, numbness, tingling, burning sensation of the hands. We've been using all conservative care, no surgery, no drugs. When I say drugs, even paracetamol. Yes, we do not recommend even paracetamol. We believe that once we're able to put the spine in a better shape, the nerves are free, there's no nerve interference, it can flow through your body and that's when your body starts to heal. And that's why we're focused on using chiropractic adjustments, decompression, pulse therapy and massage therapy. In addition to some exercises to help our patients um, resolve these neck pain, headaches and so on and so forth. So this here shows the lower back spinal decompression. In case you're wondering, maybe I don't have neck pain. It's my lower back that is bothering me. Today, we didn't talk about lower back. Maybe another time we will. Today, we focused more on the neck, but we do have same protocols like we've discussed for the neck. We have similar things for the lower back as well. We do the decompression, the chiropractic, the pulse wave for anybody who has back pain, numbness, tingling in the legs, weakness in the legs, we're able to use these treatment protocols for all those as well. So maybe you know exactly what you need to do. Maybe you need to look at solution number one, which is your posture whilst you're at work. Maybe for you, that is what you've taken out of this. For others, they need to be more active. Maybe you need to get up, move around, stretch a bit more whilst you're at work. And that alone may be beneficial. For others, you can say that, doc, 
all the symptoms you've described, I have them. It's getting worse. So in that case, we need to treat the condition before we go into the posture tips. Because if you just jump into the tips, if you're not careful, sometimes you may even worsen the case. So we want to treat if the problem has already surfaced, we want to treat it and then we can give you exercises and posture tips to add so that the problem doesn't come back once it's treated. So if you've been experiencing neck pain, headaches, burning sensation, numbness, tingling, weakness, difficulty moving your arms, we may be able to help you, but you will first need to be evaluated. We'll have to go through an evaluation process and then we can prescribe the right treatment protocol, which will be without drugs or surgery, all natural, um, and we'll be able to help you. So if you already have x-rays or MRIs, feel free. You can call the clinic, Nova Wellness Center. You can find us on Google. You can find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, at Nova Wellness Center. You can get our information and call us. Um, tell us you want to come in for that evaluation. If you already have recent or even old MRIs or x-rays, be sure to bring them along. We'll look at it. If we need anything more, we'll let you know. Now the evaluation involves a consultation. It involves a posture screening and then the x-ray or MRI analysis, okay? Now, if you come in and you say, hey, I was on the Zoom call, we may be able to give you some discount on our treatment protocols within the next one month only, because we will have another Zoom and they will also have the opportunity um, to come in. So if you're really serious about getting some help with a problem you have, then I'm gonna ask that you go into the chat box right now. There will be a link that will be um, posted there go ahead, click the link. It will send you to a page where you fill in some basic information. It's very basic. This is the way we can follow up with you. You will tell us exactly what you need, whether you need treatment, whether you need an economics assessment done. You're thinking your pain may be from your posture or your furniture at work. We can assess your workstation and advice. So if you'd want to um, either come to Nova or if you have any other question, any concern, please fill in that link in the chat box and we will be sure to contact you so that we can um, help you with whatever need you may have. So our phone numbers are here. Um, like I said, Nova Wellness Center is on Facebook, Instagram. The video is available. Um, we recorded this video. so. If you need a, a, a copy, you can also put that in the chat box. Once we have your email address, we'll do well to send it to you. A lot of people didn't join us today, I'm sure, because of the football that was going on. If you have a friend, if you know somebody who may have wanted to join um, but was not able to, or somebody you think would benefit from this information because they have neck pain or they have numbness or tingling in the fingers and so on and so forth. Again, just let us know, we will send you a copy of the video and you can also follow, um, uh, you can also send it or share it with whoever you'd like to. So thank you very much for coming, um, for joining us. It was a good talk, although, um, we didn't have a lot of people to join us because I'm sure people are busy with football, although I think it's over now. It should be over by now. Please, um, if you have any questions, we are going to take questions for the next five to 10 minutes. If you have any question, I am going to stop sharing the presentation All right, so if you have a question, first let's go over to the chat box um, and see what's happening. All right, 
So Auntie Stella was the first person to say brain when I talked about what the skull protects. Thanks, Auntie Stella. We also had Mr. Samuel Mweni said brain. Auntie Nancy said brain. And then um, there was the spine, spine. I believe the answer to that one was the nervous system, um, I believe is what um, the question was, what the master system was. That was the nervous system. And somebody says, oh, say Ghana, do I take it that Ghana won the match? We qualified. All right. So, yes, we did qualify to the World Cup. We'll say Ghana indeed. Um, yes. So why is the machine called cervical if it's the neck? Yes. So the word cervical <laughs> kind of has two meanings. Cervical, yes, does refer to the neck as a scientific term for the neck. And then we also have cervical as in um, the, the part of the female reproductive um, system, which refers to the female cervix. Okay, so yes, cervical also has got to do with the neck. All right, so our information is here. Um, Auntie Frances says, thank you, docs, a very informative session. Thank you so much for joining, Auntie Frances. It's nice to have you on. Very educative talk from Auntie Esther. I am doing the next stretch exercise and it feels good. Wonderful. Um, Rabia too also says, thank you, doc, informative. Kindly share. All right, so please do well to fill in the chat, uh, the link in the chat box so that we can send you the link um, to the whole video. And Mr. Samuel Amwini says, thank you, see you soon. I look forward to seeing you as well, Mr. Amwini. Any other questions, please? You can also use the raise your hand feature and then I would unmute you and you can ask any question. Hi, Mr. Ashka, I see you. All right, it doesn't look like anybody has a question or a concern. So I think I will go ahead and end the meeting now. Thank you so much again for joining. I hope you had a good um, close to one hour with us. Um, feel free to call. Uh oh, there's one message. Okay. Feel free to call us um, or fill out the questionnaire. All right. So, Auntie Cecilia. Um, is asking a question directly to me, but I'll go ahead and answer just because maybe somebody else may be wondering. All our treatment protocols, whether it's decompression or chiropractic adjustment, massage, once you're done with the main treatment protocol, especially if you get good results, we're able to um, give you what we call a maintenance plan, which is very simple. For some people, a maintenance plan means coming in once a month because we know that you're going back to work. We know that work is stressful. And if nothing is done, the symptoms can come back because you are going to put yourself um, or your body into bad posture, stressful events. So a simple maintenance plan may be recommended for you. It may be decompression, it may be chiro, it may be massage, depending on what we find when we do your evaluation at the end of your treatment plan, we will be able to tell you exactly um, what type of maintenance plan you'll be put on. All right, somebody is asking if there's a correlation between stress and neck pain. So stress and neck pain, yes, not only neck pain, but stress and pain, period. There is a correlation. When you're stressed, your body releases certain stress hormones, and unfortunately, 
those hormones do cause pain and discomfort because it causes your muscles to tense up. So sometimes when you are stressed, you just realize you have general back pain or your whole body feels stiff. Yes, there's a direct correlation between stress and pain. And so sometimes um, unless you fix that stressful event or you manage it, there's nothing you can do. The pain will just continue to lurk on. So it's very, very important that you manage the pain that, well, you manage the stress to help the pain to also go down. That was a very, very good question. All right. Anything else? Any other question? All right. So thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. And we will be back with another Zoom webinar um, sooner, on, sooner or later. Um, Somebody is asking, can diet be used to treat neck and back pain? Um, it depends. It depends on the cost of the neck and back pain. If your diet may be causing it, then yes, changing that diet may definitely help. Okay. All right. So until we see you again on our next Zoom call, have a good evening and thanks a lot. Bye.